Hi, my name is Chaz O'Neill, and I am the Individual Artist Programs Coordinator here at the Ohio Arts Council. And we are the State Art Agency for Ohio. We offer resources and grants for organizations and individuals. One of the resources that we have is currently on display right now. That is the Ohio Artist Registry Exhibition, which is currently on display at the Downtown Columbus Metropolitan Library. We have a wide array of media and geographical distribution on display here. We have artists represented from Hicksville to Wheelersburg to Rocky River. This exhibition takes place every year at the Downtown Columbus Metropolitan Library, and we currently have 34 artists on display. The great thing about this exhibition is there's just a wide range of media on display and there's something for everybody to enjoy. This year, we have four jurors on our panel. The first two are our professional artist jurors, and that is Kelly and Kyle Phelps from the Dayton and Cincinnati area. We also had Katie Pete, who is on the Friends of the Library Board. And we also had Jay Mantle, who is a staff member at the Downtown Columbus Metropolitan Library. Hello, I'm uh, Kelly Phelps. I'm a professor at Xavier University where I teach sculpture and ceramics. And I am Kyle Phelps and I teach sculpture at the University of Dayton. Jury and exhibitions is always difficult because there's always a wide range of work, um, a lot of variety, and just the fact that we absolutely love looking at art, so it takes a, quite a bit of time. Basically, we're just trying to have to show a wide variety of different media, you know, so we're not heavy on sculpture or making. Um, just to make, make make for a good variety of, of, of things to see. In addition to that, we're looking for a high level of craftsmanship. Um, I think that's really important, but also risk taking and and just the the fact that we're looking for kind of the out of the box approach to thinking about art. So the first work um, I'd like to introduce would be uh, the the works of ja Janet Morsano and she's doing the work called The Garden, and it's on Scratchboard, and it's a splendid piece full of little intricate details, and, and it's just well-crafted. I mean, we looked all over that composition for any type of flaws, and it almost looks manufactured that, like, could an artist actually produce something that tight? I think the other thing that was really attractive about her work is just the, the sense of depth and the layers. Um, that you really can't really appreciate until you really take the time to really look at the work. And just from top to bottom, side to side, you're really kind of um, just involved with the work. Uh, the next piece is by Judy Takas, and her work is entitled One, and it's a portrait, mother, child, that she really expressed the emotions, and it's really raw and, and kind of vulnerable. It gives a really sense of mystery. Um, you know, we really love the whole mixed media approach with um, traditional painting and the gold leafing. It just immediately popped, with, along with her use of colors. It was something that automatically we, we were really enamored with. Uh, the last piece that we're going to talk about is uh, works by Stuart Pearl, and it's the shop windows at Slots. And we completely resonated to that piece right away. It was imagery that we were familiar with. Um, it wasn't your traditional landscape type of uh, photography and things like that. This was more trend. industrial, gritty, but yet beautiful sense of color, light, texture, composition. The composition was, was right on, and we, we just instantly just related to that piece. Yeah, yeah so it's, it's something that, like, it's just memorable objects and being in that environment when we worked in the factory, you see a lot of that imagery um, that was there, and just something that it just just took us back memories. And think about the end of the shift that we worked on, and seeing the sun come up because we worked night shift, and, and that kind of reminded us of, of, of those windows and being able to peer outside. So I think those unseen moments, those unrecognized, those unappreciated moments. We really appreciated that image. We want to give a big thanks to the governor, the legislature, and the Ohio Arts Council's board 
for supporting the Ohio Arts Council, this exhibition, and of course, Ohio artists.